Hey everybody, and welcome to your indie snapshot for today. Today, we're taking a look at a game. This is more of an early look, I think. Maybe an indie snapshot's the wrong term. We're looking at a game that has an, an obscene, obscene amount of potential, but is incredibly early in its alpha process. And that's something I don't really look at too much. A lot of games I don't look at um, this early on in their alpha because they're just not complete. There's not a lot of fun to be had. And the same can kind of be said for this game. Um, but there's just so much potential involved in what what's presented here that I feel like I need to make it aware uh, to you and to those watching. It's not going to be incredibly long. I assume 15 minutes will probably be what we look at um, before we, we cut the video. But let's just dive in. This is Starforge. And I picked it up during the Steam Summer Sale uh, for the early access for half off. I picked it up for 10 bucks, And... I had heard a little bit about what the game was aiming to do, and knowing full well how early the game was in alpha, I wanted to check it out. And there's, uh, we're gonna go take a look as to why I think this game holds a lot. We're gonna do new game, and we're gonna do, um, we're gonna do just a creative mode first. We're gonna do Fort Defense after. So creative mode might actually not work right now, um, but we get some basic stuff to work with. So this is creative mode, and much like... Much like Minecraft, it's a randomly generated world, and I should probably point out this game takes a lot of cues from um, games like Minecraft and even Borderlands to an extent. It's, it's all about um, the emergent story and the fun that can be had with the game as you play. Uh, the idea behind it is that you're a human, one of four, because I believe this is going to have, well it already does, it has multiplayer, one of four, that is kind of planted on this world and, and set with one particular goal. And much like many of my videos, that goal is to survive. And I love videos like that. Now, when the game is complete, you're going to be able to play in creative mode like I am now. There's going to be survival mode where you're kind of placed on a planet. And the goal, like I said, is to survive while gathering resources. You're going to be able to chop down trees and stuff. But right now, as far as I know, last I checked, the tree chopping was, was kind of broken, which is fine. Um, and as I'm going around right now, I'm just kind of collecting the resources the game has given me to play with. And we're going to talk about what, what is so fun. So, outside of the game being incredibly huge, the world that is print, printed before you is large, planet-sized, obviously. Um, you are able to go, as far as I know, almost an infinitely sky high. To the point of actually going into space. If I wanted to, um, and I'm presuming with more things being built and more options available later on in the game, I can, right now, just build to the sky. And I can go into space. I'm wearing a spacesuit that looks like Master Chief, essentially. And I can build into space. And I'm not sure if they have intentions of introducing, like, spaceships and stuff and other planets. But I feel like that would be a massively missed opportunity. But the idea here, the, the idea of just building and surviving on an alien planet in this kind of world, while having a borderline, Borderlands kind of loot drop system, which we're going to check out after, is incredible. And it's kind of weird and kind of hard to explain why I think, and many others think, this game has an incredible amount of potential. Um, because it's attempting to do something that a lot of people have already done. But I highly suggest you go check out Steam and check out all the, the features that they plan on implementing in this game. A lot of the things they want to do with this game are... It's ambitious, let's just put it that way. This game is incredibly ambitious, and it's difficult to see, or it's difficult to argue why this game is, is going to be awesome. Some of the things you can build, for example, or plan on being built as well, are vehicles, like the one you see here, um, turrets, defense systems, um, you know, different types of walls. Walls can be destroyed by monsters, of course. Um, all kinds of uh, other things like that. Different types of doors, obviously. Elevators and whatnot. And I'm assuming at some point they might even introduce weapon crafting. Now, weapons are all randomly generated. Like I said, there's, it's very similar to Borderlands. Borderlands. I keep saying Borderlands. Uh, Borderlands in that, in that way. And for being a Unity game, this is definitely built on the Unity, Unity engine, it doesn't look that bad. It doesn't look amazing, but again, this game is so incredibly early in its alpha stages uh, that it's hard to kind of knock it for the way it looks right now since it has a lot of development ahead of it. So I've been gathering resources for a while. I'm going to show you the crafting system here. I just got to, you have to be near the resources to craft it. Um, so if I want to use these things, I just hit tab and I get a list of things I can build. I got building materials, defenses, um, utility stuff, which is like spotlights and... Uh, what is this? This is... I don't even... Is that a forge? I don't know what this is right here. Different vehicles already in the game. Weapons already, already lied. All these are in the game that you can already build. Um, and it's curious. I don't think I can actually build that right now. I don't have the utilities. But right now, let's just build some basic walls, right? We're going to build some walls. We're going to click forge. Uh, it says click and drag to increase the number. Ah, there we go. 
We can just build a bunch. So let's just build like 198. So we have 200, right? And we can just escape out of here. They give us, this is creative mode, so they kind of give us an infinite amount. And we can just build. And this is, this is where I have a weakness. Um, because I'm not terribly good at being creative in general. Um, but we're going to build just some stuff. And, and you can just kind of build a fort, generalized fort area. There we go. Um, I just kind of want to connect it to this. And I don't know if there's a way to actually... There we go. I can. If I right-click, it just kind of connects. Is that how that works? Oops, I didn't want to do that. I think I can destroy it in some way. Nope. Nope, I'm just building out. There is a way to destroy it. I just don't know the key. Again, one of the things you have to remember here is uh, coming into early alpha like this, you're looking at... Uh, no tutorial essentially there's no explanation as to how things work i kind of had to figure it out on my own as well as uh take a look at some youtube videos so we're gonna build like a little little hut here and uh this is where the creative aspect of the game comes in one that is extremely strong and present in the game um one that obviously it's big and influences is minecraft and games like it being able to build whatever you see fit and uh this is i'm gonna show you let's see if we can do this i am gonna literally show you why I think this game has incredible potential here. Let's go over to the stone block. And it's hard because, again, I'm saying, you know, oh, this game has incredible potential. You know, like, God, I can't wait for this game. Um, and it's hard to talk about why. Can I not? Maybe I can only build one. Let's go over to the stone again. Let's just go over here to the stone real quick and just use up some more of the stone. Because as you use it, oh boy, there is fall damage in this game, by the way. And sometimes it can get glitchy with kind of how you jump. Let's build. There we go. 99 more. Can't build any more of those. We'll build a bunch more of these. Alright. This is why this game is exciting. Because it, it provides the opportunity to just build infinitely. And I'm very curious what their plan is, is here. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not entirely sure what happened there. Alright, let's, uh... I'm hurt right now. My character is going... There we go. Can I even get up here? I can. So if I want to jump... Okay, there we go. We're going to see how high we can get. This is the exciting part of the game. We can just kind of kind of boost ourselves as we jump. I guarantee you we're not gonna see we're not gonna see the end of this. The blocks we'll, we're never gonna get to the point where we're gonna uh, see the edge of what's capable. And this is why this game has such potential. And imagine this game in multiplayer with the ability to play on a huge server um, that has the ability to build as this high and coming across like incredible skyscrapers uh, of incredible distance and length. Um, there is currently another mild called uh, Fort Fort Defense, which gives you that little like tube of, of creatures down there that you saw probably me walking by. And your job is to just build defense around it and defend against monsters. Right now, it's kind of easy. Um, the monsters are kind of dumb looking. They look like giant colored centipedes, um, and they're not exactly the hardest things. But again, they're still working on very much the base game, so it's incredibly hard to kind of fault them for it. Now, right now, this game is twenty dollars on the early release. Let's take a look outwards. I mean, you know, we've already put a ton of uh, br bricks down. Um, it is twenty dollars as far as early release goes, and as, as far as I know, or as what I'm told, or what I've been, what I've read, is that upon release, it's going to be forty dollars. And uh, if they set out to achieve what they want to achieve, I don't see that being too high a price. It's very, 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 very ambitious. Um, and again, I can pull up a list here in a minute and uh, potentially read off everything that they have or their ambitions. Um, but I suggest you go check it out yourself, to be honest with you. Uh, I'm just trying to show some of the basic gameplay and talk about this game a little bit. Um, but if they actually achieve what they're attempting to achieve here with the size and scope of, uh, of the freedom of play, movement, and the incredible multiplayer aspect they're kind of aiming for, $40 is almost too cheap for it. And it's interesting, you know, you think about what they're attempting here with with Starforge Alpha and what they what they want to do with the, with the crafting system and the multiplayer system. Um, this huge, incredible world, being able to go into space and build into space, potentially visiting other planets and whatnot, if that's something they do plan on doing. Think about what kind of cool game 
this would be. And the question is, why haven't AAA developers done something like this? Is this too ambitious? Uh, is this too difficult to pull off? And the answer is, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe there's a reason. Then again, you could say AAA developers just like to play safe and, and play with what they know and know what's going to make money. I mean, and when you do go out and venture out to try and do something ambitious, it's very difficult to succeed. Mirror's Edge is a good example of that. Mirror's Edge, I mean, on a base level, it succeeded, right? Um, but it wasn't probably the financial success that they wanted. And only now, many years later, are we finally getting a sequel. But then you look at indie developers who developed State of Decay and broke records with that game on, on what they were trying to do there. An actual, very similar to Project Zomboid, a zombie survival game. And being able to being able to do that and succeed because they had done something that was potentially quote unquote too ambitious and succeed at it um you know it, it begs the question was is there such a thing as too ambitious or are just triple a developers too scared are they too scared to do something different um let's take a look around here how are we doing i don't know what that light is over there and look at think about how high we've gone and we haven't even hit space yet and I don't know if we're going to be able to hit space before it comes. It might even be too dark for you guys to see what's going on right now. Um, and it's really actually incredibly... Oh, there's a flashlight. I was like, I'm going to hit F here just to see if there's a flashlight. And there is. Um, with the flashlight, we can kind of see. So that's good. Um, I don't know. I don't know what, what if we're going to see an end in sight here. Um, just to, This is really just... It's, it's funny because... What this alpha is attempting to do is doing what I'm doing right now. What this alpha really gives you is just a very vague concept of what they're trying to do with this game. And it's kind of, uh, it's interesting. All right, let's keep jumping. I know uh, Red Panda Gamer actually just did an early impressions of the game. And I, I think he was kind of, uh, I think he liked it. I didn't watch all of it. I kind of just sped through it because it was long. Um, and he did talk really, you know, in detail about what, what he thinks about the game, obviously. So I suggest going to check it out. Uh, for his for his video, oh my God, we're not even in space yet, but we're getting there. And this is what ten minutes or so of me doing this game so far. And the first few, just kind of walking around and talking about it. It's uh, it's interesting to see what we're gonna get here. Um, we're gonna go through these blocks. We'll jump off the edge and then we'll go to the. I just want to see if I can get to space to show you what it looks like because I've seen it. And I've, uh, I've seen it in videos, and it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, and I would love to kind of show you more. But I don't... I would, if I don't get the space, go check it out yourself. And then we'll take a look. We'll take a quick look here uh, at Fort Defense Mode. There we go. More blocks. Come on up. All right. We're going to keep going up a little bit. Keep going. Oh, I can actually just jump like this, and it's probably a little quicker, right? Yeah, there we go. All right, we're out of blocks, and we're not even close. We're not even close. And just think about that. And look at all that stuff up there. What's up there? Can we go there? Will they allow us? That's the exciting question. So let's just jump. Oh, God. I like how his legs just come up. Oh, God, that scream. Oh, God. Oh, my good Lord. Are we going to make it? Oh god, that scream. Oh, there goes the wooden ones. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Oh, this is gonna hurt so bad. Oh, here comes the ground. And we'll turn off the flashlight now. We'll keep on. Oh. And we died. Oh god. Alright, let's uh swing out. And we'll go to the single player and we'll play Fort Defense. Fort Defense. And I'll show you the monsters and talk a little bit about the weapons and stuff. All right, so here we are. There is what we're supposed to defend is right here. And they kind of spawn a couple of weapons and some supplies around. So let's go ahead and grab that. Um, hit A to interact. And it's very similar, you know, very similar to how Borderlands does it. It kind of just opens up in like a treasure chest almost. Um, we need to bring some supplies back. And we're going to just make some blocks when we can. They give us about three or four weapons to play with here. The wave gives us, it gives us two minutes before the wave starts. Uh, to be honest with you, the first wave is going to be pretty easy. So are the first five or six waves, to be honest with you. Um, what do we got? I think we got the same gun. We do. Stats might be a little different. Um, I hate chain guns so much. Stats might be a little different right now. I don't know if there's actual way to look at the stats. I haven't figured out a way, if there is one. Um, but the weapons, I think stats are randomly generated. I think. 
the how strong weapons are, are randomly generated, but I, there's no inventory button as far as I can tell. I and B don't do anything. I've hit B for backpack. Um, that's an interesting SMG type weapon. And we got the same thing. That's actually really funny. Last time I played, I got five different weapons. Now we have two of the same type, just, uh, potentially slightly different stats. All right, let's, uh, just do this and come over here and just build some stuff. So we're going to build, we're going to forge. We're going to get 300 used up all of our inventory in the process. And we're going to build a little bit of a wall around the edge here. It might as well, right? We want to build up a wall just so we can make sure the monsters don't quite get in really too easily. We might want to create like a little doorway for us, but there's no real need to. Um, because there's no nothing imperative right now. Can we just... No? Alright, I gotta... There we go. Eh. Can do one of those. It looks like right-clicking builds up. Left-clicking builds like vertically. Or horizontally, rather. So... Whoop. Eh. There we go. So that's what we're going to have to keep that in mind. Alright, so we're just building a fort here. Two by two if we can get to get it even done before the monsters show up. And there's only seconds between waves after that. So they don't give you long to kind of uh, build up your fort. And it looks like we're just going to kind of do it like this for now. That's fine. For those of you who are the creative types, this is definitely going to be a game I could see you having a lot of fun with. Uh, let's just go out this way now. These these things right here, this little terminal, I really don't think does anything. Alright, here comes the first set of monsters. Let's just kill them off. I have no idea where it spawned, so we're just going to keep building until he shows up. A little centipede monster. He's actually not really little. He's actually kind of big. We're just going to build a wall across. Connect it with this one over here. Move it. I hear it. I think it's attacking one of my walls, which will repair. Because these can be all destroyed, of course. Oh, there he is. Oh, nope. They just went over it. Alright. Well, that's in interesting. As you see, they kind of look stupid. Um, they don't look amazing or anything. I think he busted through. He's dead. Wave one down. Easy enough. Let's just build out this way a little bit. I think they actually did break through. That was what happened. Alright. Not bad. So, as you can see, not exactly the hardest things in the world. And we'll just build upward. And we'll just keep building. Oop, I fell. I am not the most creative guy in the world, so my fort's not going to be amazing looking by any stretch of the imagination. Um, but, you know, eventually putting turrets down and everything, that can be a lot of fun. Or at least I can see it be a lot of fun. Um, let's see if we can build up this wall. Do I hear it? I hear, like, skittering. I just don't know where it's coming from. There's another gun uh, chest out there. Every, between rounds, they drop supplies as well. There it is. Oh, he broke down my wall. That's what he's doing. He's headbutting my wall. What a douchebag. But see, it buys time. And I don't know if wood... Wood is probably not as sturdy as steel. Um, ah! Really, dude? He's just breaking down my wall. He's not even going for what he's supposed to be going for. He's just breaking down the wall. Alright, let's uh, repair up. Alright. Again, this is more of a proof of concept than anything. Can I just move you? I can't. You're just in the way. Eh, such a problem. But that's fine. We'll build over him. Up oh, there he goes. Repairing the wall. Here he comes. If I can catch his monsters beforehand, that'll probably be best. I should probably also go get the... Uh, probably also go get the uh, extra weapons that it's provided me. We'll do that after. Let's see if we can at least save our fort. Oh, I think I almost glitched into the wall there. There he is. Come on, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't be a douche. Don't do it. You're just one-shotting these things. That's annoying. Oh, God. Oh, come on. Come after me. He's not taking a whole lot of damage right now. Alright, let's see if these weapons are any better. And then we can go back to build it. building. What is this? Interesting. What else we got? I don't know what this is. Another chain gun, but it looks like it has more barrels on it. 
And then another one of these. But they have two barrels on it now. Interesting. Uh, I think I'm going to stick with... Where is it? This one. I'll try this new gun. Come on. Definitely, definitely stronger. Oh, don't want to shoot my own wall. Whoa, buddy. Next wave is soon. That's good. That means we killed him. Uh, let's just build out a little bit and see how long we can last. I mean, again, like I said, it's not the hardest thing in the world right now. Uh, it's actually really damn easy. Um, but that's okay. I'm okay with that. Again, it, this is more of a proof of concept. And I have enough fun in, in Star Forge Alpha here. Uh, I wouldn't say it, it warrants my twenty dollars. What, what I'm investing in, like a lot of, uh, like a lot of early alpha purchases, I, I'm investing in an ideal, in an idea. And if I believe that this company can pull it off, then uh, I'll give them my money. And I do believe that they can pull this off. I do. Like from what I've seen and how how much, uh, you know, freedom in the world that they've they've already put, uh, I'd say I definitely. Whoa. Okay, that one's a bit of a stronger monster. Did he die? Oh, there's another one burrowing his way in over here. The green one seemed to take the most damage, and he's literally just destroying my fort at this point. So, it might not even be worth trying to defend it anymore. But I think you guys get the idea. It's a lot of fun, and I think it's well worth the uh, initial investment. And he's already poked holes in my thing. Um, but check it out. It's Star Forge Alpha. If you, I can understand being a little wary. This is something more of me saying keep an eye on it. Not necessarily invest now, but keep an eye on it, because this thing has a ton of potential. Um, so thank you guys so much for swinging by for this early look, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and as always, if you enjoyed the commentary or enjoyed the product that I showed off, feel free to like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time.